Welcome back, it's Magic Dad uh, with another episode of Dungeons 2. And, okay. Okay, hold on. <coughs> Put a brew, uh, brew kettle in the brewery. How do I do this? There we are. Hard-working evil effortlessly built a brewing copper so that delicious beer could be brewed as soon as possible. One of the little snots started working on the brewing copper. The nostalgic evil banished all thoughts of Oktoberfest and brass bands. Those would have to wait. More important tasks had to be completed first. Both okay. beer and gold were now available in the dungeon. So it was time to hire some creatures to defend against greedy heroes or whatever else snuck around underground. At present, it was only simple orcs declaring undying loyalty to the ultimate evil. The rest of the horde was scattered to the winds. Okay, let's go pick this over here. And plop this down in here. So how do I do this? How do I hire? How do I? Okay. So, what do I do? Yeah, but I don't know how to add. Oh. There we are. Here's how. Orcs were defensive close combat specialists, capable of dealing with many opponents. However, they were very vulnerable to ranged attacks. Three, two, one. It's Payday. An eerie gong rang through the halls. It did not bode well for the ultimate evil's treasury stocks, for at each sounding of the gong, the creatures would collect their undeserved wages. However, there was little it could do about this, as it was chained to the throne. Thus, it had to give free rein to its servants' desires. Oh, the time being, at least. The dungeon of the expansion mad evil grew and prospered, but unfortunately, it had reached the maximum possible population it could currently manage. Okay. Our creature would have to be thrown into the bottomless pit before any others could be brought in. Once these guys are done. One louse infested orc crawled up from the depths and declared allegiance to the ultimate awesome. evil. The first step towards the creation of a powerful army had been taken. The profound evil had had enough of dungeon sightseeing and now wanted to move to the surface to try a dish that is best served cold. Revenge. Some Alliance members were bound to be guarding the entrance to the overworld. A fine appetizer for a vengeful evil. The nameless evil's creatures came upon a spider's nest during their search for an entrance to the overworld. It would take more than one rock to smoke that out. The abysmal evil used the hand of terror to grab several of the creatures that were still completely inexperienced at fighting and threw them onto the spider's nest. Ooh. The 
cowardly evil was still hesitant to pick up its creatures and throw them onto the fight. Was there no other way? Could this not okay. be resolved peacefully? Is it not true that violence only breeds more violence? Instead, the peaceful evil now planned to get its troops to make daisy chains. But flowers only grow in the overworld, and for that, it had to get past the spiders. Ow. Oops. Come on. I love how uh, cheeky these guys are. The spiders drop like flies. The strategically well-versed evil patted itself on the back, proud that it had led its troops into battle with such a plom. And by led, I just simply mean chucking them at the enemy. The basics of a dungeon were now in place. <laughs> However, the brewery was puny and didn't really have room to store beer barrels in, and the treasury was also anything but impressive in size. Quickly, the expansion hungry evil set out to enlarge its dungeon. Hey, you. The evil has awoken, but its brothers are still asleep. Oh, huh? What on earth was that? That's not in my script. What a weirdo. No matter. We'd better get back to concentrating on the dungeon. The creature disappeared into the pit of uselessness with a long drawn and gradually diminishing... This particular act of wickedness brought a smile to the face of the ultimate evil. Oh, uh, production facilities. There we are. In the meantime, several carnivorous penguins had begun to make their way to the ultimate evil's dungeon. They would arrive eventually but definitely not before this story has ended okay yeah i know i'm trying to dig south <coughs> monstrosity loomed out of the darkness on six, no, eight legs. This Yay. dungeon's human guards had been ancient history for a long while. Now it was home to a huge spider and her food. Would Sam and Frodo escape it and continue their journey to Mount Doom, or was this the end of the ring bearer? Hang on a minute, that's not the right text. <laughs> Where were we? Oh yes, a huge spider, henceforth called the Spider Queen. It would be necessary to eliminate the Spider Queen before the Horde could reach the surface. The Spider Queen sent forth a wave of her children. Of course, the ultimate evil was fully aware of this danger and immediately prepared to defend itself against them. At least, that's what I heard. Hey. You. Somebody died. Uh, you go down. You're coming. Uh. 
and another wave of spiders set out to destroy the ultimate evil. Come on, kill this queen. Yay. Oops. Here, you're getting back here. So you can heal up. You're the only one left, so let's... She's almost dead, okay. What's the problem? Not enough gold. Lovely. Get some more gold from you guys. The Spider Queen again sent her children out to attack the dungeon, even though this tactic had failed the last time. A certain AI programmer could really have made a bit more of an effort with this. The dungeon of the ultimate evil was full of gelatinous cubes, invisible gelatinous cubes. And another wave of spiders set out to destroy the ultimate evil. Hey. No, no, dude. Come on, take him out. Take her out. You suck. We have enough to buy a new one. Yes, we did. Good. The little snots found a healing potion in a hidden room. This was able to restore one of the ultimate evil's creatures to full health. Oh shoot, that's a mistake. The Spider Queen again sent her children out to attack the dungeon, even though this tactic had failed the last time. 
a certain AI programmer could really have made a bit more of an effort with this. Can I drop you in the well of uselessness? How's the spider queen coming? She's almost done. Okay. Have? Do we have enough? No, we do not. Dang, suck. <laughs> okay, we're going to put you right here. And another wave of spiders set out to destroy the ultimate evil. Again. Is there any more gold that we need? We gotta get through this stupid spider. Break up. A strange odor spread through the ultimate evil's dungeon. It vowed that in the future it would eat fewer beans. <laughs> the Spider Queen again sent her children out to attack the dungeon. Even though this tactic had failed the last time, a certain AI programmer could really have made a bit more of an effort with this. Come on, one more. The vile perversion, once called the Spider Queen, had nothing more with which she could fight the Horde. Later, the sensitive evil would have her innards made into a lava lamp. Nice. The way to the surface was open. Now it was time to put those vengeance plans into practice. The vile evil wanted to take this opportunity to utter a really sinister laugh. But unfortunately, its physical state made this unviable. Instead, it asked the narrator to do a bit of sinister laughter on its behalf. Oh well, here goes. Deep breath. <laughs> okay, so that will be it for this episode, and we will see you next week when we play some more Dungeons 2. Love this game. Bye for now. <laughs>